in line here was the case KS Pittman um, Willie's drag car. This was a Dr. Cranky suggestion. Um, I I thought about this for well probably a year or better when he said to try it out, try it out. You know I didn't want to be you know you know a yes man to you know to a, a you know to a big name in the community, but you know I do I do look up to Dr. Crank. I do idolize him, and uh, I decided you know what I'm going to try this. I'm going to try to build a build a Willie's kit. And I want to do it box dog. Which lasted about five minutes because this kid, like Dr. Cranky says, so much potential, so much fun to do. Um, we added, you know, we added a fire extinguisher that wasn't there. We put the um, put the heat shrink tubing for the roll cages, uh, wired up the uh, Hemi engine that's inside of here, painted this thing about three times because it kept, you know, making blunders and wanted to fix. The neat thing was. When I'm researching for this KS Pittman, after I'd already started everything, got everything in there, the motor in there, wanted to start researching what the original drag car had and how it looked in there, nowhere could I ever find pictures of this car with a big blowing Hemi on it. They always ran 409 Oldsmobile blowing engines. Too late. I had already committed to putting that motor in there. I didn't have a 409 anyway, so I went with it. Uh, don't regret it. It still looks really great. I had fun. Detailed a lot of stuff. Um, the paint turned out really well. Followed a process that was in um, Model Car Magazine, and um, it went really well. So I would suggest this kit again to anybody. I would like to get a couple more. I have a couple of great ideas for it. Um, also, this car at CAMS this year took a uh, took a silver in the in the category entered in. Really great. I was I was hoping for a gold. Gold still eludes me at the CAMS contest. It's the biggest one in Atlanta, Canada. Uh, it still loses me. I, I'm going to try really hard this year again. Uh, once again, for me in contest, just to show up and meet friends. That's all I really give a damn about. If I place is a is a bonus. You know, if you you know they call your name for an award, that's a bonus to me, right? So anyway, we'll try next, 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 next is this, the '49 Merc. Once again, another uh, another Dr. Cranky suggestion. Um, this car started and it stopped. I, uh, I built the chassis onto it. I built the chassis up and I, I kind of liked it and I got a little bored and I moved on and the wheels weren't really doing it for me. So anyway, I ended up pulling out of the 67 step side kit, Revell, uh, GMC little Chev truck and, um, a little pill on there. I don't like that. I have to clean that up. Anyway, um, I pulled from that kit and uh, for the wheels, and I had to massage the body to make them fit. Um, you know, I went working on this one, and one thing led to another, and I did the seats and some nail, some artificial nail polish stuff. What do you call those little stick-on nails? I used that for the seats. Um, kind of started defining a style for myself of opening trunks, building interiors, magazines in there, all that fun stuff. Uh, the steering wheel's going. There it is. It's laying down inside. Uh-oh. Anyway, whoopsie doodle. Um, anyway, we, uh, I got onto that. Um, the steering wheel falling off. Oh, man. Uh, get this trunk opened up. Did a bunch of other stuff. And I can't even get the hood up. Doesn't matter. Um, took this. It's first showed at cams. And like usual, here we are in the hotel room. Midnight. Still putting on stuff. So, you know, did the bare metal foil. Could have been better. Could have been a lot worse. I went with it. Play silver. Did really well. I was pleased, very pleased with how I did it. The, the I wanted to go blue or purple with the paint. The wife said, no, 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 try this, try this. You won't regret it. Try this. Well, here we are today. Don't regret that choice. This uh, uh, metal flake red and uh, dull ivory paint led to silver at camps and the New Brunswick Atlantic Nationals, uh, Bernie Melanson, club founder, uh, best in show award, I'd call it. Um, very, very honored. Um, they called, uh, the first time I've ever been to the club uh, show, so I knew really no idea what was going on. Seen this award at a couple other shows, and uh, they called uh, the winner for this, they were announcing for the winner of this, and that was cool. They called my name, and I didn't move, right? So they clapping, and then her, my wife's like, they just called your name. What? Was absolutely astonished. So that was cool. The, the coolest part about this, the award was very nice, but what was even better was after the show, when we were packing up, a lot of the club members were coming over and shaking hands, congratulating, asking me to return next year. 
uh, you know, one gentleman said, you know, you're doing a really great job. Um, keep up the great work. I want to see you back, right? So that meant more to me than the awards, right? The, the people that talk to you. So anyway, that was cool. Next was a Dr. Cranky card. Being selected to join the uh, Cranky Head Hall of the Infamous was was it was big for our house. It was crazy. I uh, I forwarded the email to my wife. I was at work when I got the email, and uh, she called me right up. And she was just ecstatic on the phone. I was speechless again. Just couldn't believe it. I was so just excited and happy. Then to get the cards in the mail was just oh, it was it was something else. So fun, 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 fun. Loved it. Um, Others, um, what took up some of our modeling time this year was we started, my wife and I started, founded the Burrick Gala Day, which is our town fair kind of thing. It's held every Labor Day. Uh, the Burrick Gala Day mo Scale Model Car Show, or Scale Model Show, I guess we're calling it. Um, that took a lot of effort. Um, I sat on the, uh, the board, uh, the committee board for the Gala Days. I, uh, I volunteered my time there, and... In doing so, they allowed me to take gave gave me the opportunity. They uh, they put up the up, they put up all the um, the location tables. They put everything up. To see if we can make this happen. Um, at the end of the day, guys, the communities were excited. The town was quite excited by it. Uh, we had a phenomenal amount of foot traffic come through. I think we had thirty. It was unreal. We had thirty. No, forty two enter. Forty two modelers show up and enter. Uh, 132 models on the tables, um, unbelievable time. Uh, we had so much fun; it was amazing. We had a lot of friends of ours. Uh, the Moncton boys came down, and stayed at our place. The Vincents came down, and stayed at our place here the two nights before, and we did some modeling jams. Oh man, it was so much fun! Can't wait for next year to come around. We're going to start drumming up sponsorships and whatnot uh, next month, and take it from there. Um, the biggest thing, guys, is what this has been the greatest part of this year is the amount of friends I've met, made, and been able to talk to, have fun with. Uh, wouldn't trade any of this for the world. Uh, just love to thank you guys for tuning in, each and every video, commenting. Love it. All right, guys, enough talking for me. 2014 was fun. Let's make 2015 even better. Adios.